Here we are in the San Luis Valley of Colorado at Great Sand Dunes National Park. This is the location of the tallest sand dunes in North America, which rise over 750 feet high. You might be wondering, how did all of this sand get here? Well, this has a long history. We have to go back about four million years, when to the south of us, there were some lava flows, the Servietta basalts, and they dammed up any outflow from this valley and backed up a large lake called Lake Alamosa. Lake Alamosa grew to its maximum extent around 450,000 years ago. And in that nice big lake basin, you had sediments accumulating, both from the Sangre de Cristo Mountains to my east and the San Juan Mountains to my west. But about 440,000 years ago, the uh, the lake broke through those volcanic layers that was holding it back and it drained completely away, leaving all of those lake sediments exposed for the wind to pick up and carry. Now, in the Pleistocene, during the glacial times, we also had smaller lakes out there because the climate was a bit cooler and wetter here. And as the glaciers and the ice age ended, those lakes also dried up and left their sediments exposed for the wind. And so here, our typical winds come out of the southwest and they blow across those ancient lake sediments and they pile up the sand here in these sand dunes. When there are storm events, those winds usually blow off the east and push the sand a little bit back towards the valley. And we also have a couple of ephemeral streams, you can see one actually flowing behind me, that pick up some of the sand from the sand dunes and carry it back out into the San Luis Basin for the winds to pick up and blow back to the sand dunes in this grand recycling scheme. And so we're here seeing some beautiful large sand dunes at the edge of the Sangre de Cristo Mountains. And uh, the largest dune is called Star Dune, and it's right there behind me. And uh, I climbed it once when I was younger, and uh, it's a heck of a climb. So come and visit these magnificent dunes here.